Just as the football season gets underway, health professionals and Kern County football coaches and trainers are coming together to help prevent more head injuries from happening on the field. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa is here now with more on this game-changing workshop. Carlos? Todd, last year about 100 football players suffered a concussion in Kern County, and by raising awareness on the issue, school leaders hope to reduce that number significantly. High school coaches and trainers in Kern County are sitting in one room, but they're not going over the latest stats or reviewing any football plays. Instead, they're learning about keeping their athletes safe. It's all about education, you know, so uh, every year, you know, you, you come here and you, you, want, you want to do what's best for the kids and how, how, you, how do you, where do you send them, what do you do, and, and every year is something, something's new. Team leaders are participating in the Head Injury Symposium focused on learning the signs. Real life, and, and they have to understand that. You know, it's, it's uh, we do everything, you know, I think 90% of the coaches are here for the kids. They want them to be successful for lifelong learning. A concussion can include a vacant stare, delayed verbal and motor responses, confusion, and memory deficit. It causes swelling, edema, electrolyte shifts. If a player sustains a concussion, their brain function will be affected in as much that they'll experience headaches, nausea, vomiting, dizziness. Medical experts say parents play a key role in spotting symptoms in their children and should report any changes in behavior to doctors as well as coaches before stepping back in the field. There is a, a way to get them back to play again safely in, in a relatively uh, short period of time if they follow a few sim simple steps. Players suffering a concussion should not return to the game. Instead, they should spend the next day resting and slowly getting back into any type of physical activity. It's so important for our student athletes to be safe on the field to play and uh, you know early recognition of symptoms of a concussion is you know the most important thing in the world. 20 percent of the 1.5 million high school and college football players around the nation suffer some kind of head injury during the year. Medical experts say a commitment to education on the field will make a big difference in protecting young players. In the studio, Carlos Correa, 23 ABC.